I feel like I made a mistake at this part of my hair just because this was the first side I did. So I obviously made a mistake. This isn't perfect, but this is actually perfect. And yeah, we're all learning. I actually love this side, but I this side, Shah. Hi my loves, welcome back to the channel. My name is Wei Amy, also known as House of Wei on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, please go follow me and let's be friends. My returning subscriber, hey girl, come and grab a seat. In today's video, I showed you guys like a beginner friend. This is actually my very, very first time of customizing a wig from start to finish. And I'm super, super impressed with the results. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera here, but the baby, um, the frontal is frontally. And just because I wasn't sure if I could do it, I decided to get like a five by five frontal to practice on. 5x5 five five closure rather, it's not a frontal to practice on to see okay if I could actually do it and I'm super super impressed and super proud of myself in this video I'll show you how I prepped the wig and how I installed it all beginner friendly because this is actually my first time so I'm a beginner as well and if that's something you're interested in seeing please stick with me and watch this video and yeah please tell me what you think about this look but I absolutely absolutely love it and I think the hair is nice I think the installation is good the customization is good if I do say so myself. So without talking too much, let's just get right into the video of how I prep and install this with all beginner friendly. If you want to start slaying your wigs this 2022, then this video is for you. I'll catch you at the end of the video. This is how the wig came. The wig wasn't pre-plugged, it wasn't bleached, it was just there. But based on the wig construction, I would not be recommending this wig to anybody. But this is how the wig is. I do not have a choice, so I just have to like make the best out of it and this is how it is i'm just showing you guys the lace how it looks like there was nothing done to this wig it was just straight out of the box like no even effort the effort they put into making this wig was nothing it was just to sew it on the on the wig cap so i had a lot of work to do the closure was so full oh my god you see the amount of hair i plucked out of this closure it was a whole lot so this is me just fixing the wig on the on the mannequin head and that was when i knew that okay i had to like begin serious work so i just put it on the mannequin head and i secured it right in place with my, my with the pins so that it make my work easier so it doesn't have to keep shifting when i'm blocking the closure and yeah that's just basically what i'm doing right now i'm trying to secure it firmly because when you are plucking you need the head to be firm so that it doesn't keep shifting then i'm going in with this wax stick just push away because I don't know their idea they brought out some hairs and cut it maybe they thought it was baby hairs but that wasn't working for me so I had to like push back all the fly away so I could see what I was doing and I could properly plug the hair so I'm just using that to just push all the fly away backwards like all the hair just take everything to the back and I'm going in with my hot comb just to just let everything be flat because I think that before you start working you need like a flat surface like you need the thing head to be flat so you can actually see what you're doing you don't have anything obstructing you, you know where to plug so you do not make a mistake so you have to like use your flat iron to push the hair back once you start plucking don't just go directly and start plucking from the front of the hair cut out a little part of the hair and start plucking from there cut out parts out like a little piece then you pluck over the piece of hair like i'm doing right now hope you guys can see these are my tweezers that i'm using hope you guys can see what i'm doing so you just pluck it you don't just pluck directly in front you have to pluck like from that part in to give you that perfect illusion i think that was my mistake at the beginning i didn't do this so you pluck 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 the back to you pluck at the back you keep plucking like you just keep plucking till you are satisfied everybody has like different ideas of how they want their front out to be but me i like the very natural one whereby the hairline is very thin i don't know it's just a preference i like it very natural this was when i just finished first plucking i thought i had done a good job but unfortunately i hadn't done i hadn't gotten the degree and um, the result i desired at this point you can still use the wig but to me this wasn't cutting it out for me because when i put up my hair it wasn't still giving that natural hairline that i wanted so i had to go back and continue plucking it because it wasn't just doing it for me I plucked and plucked and plucked. If you are doing this thing, just be prepared to pluck. I plucked this hair. I used two days to actually pluck it because I started at night of the first day. I got tired. I plucked for like five hours and I continued. So this is me just doing the front, trying to pluck, pluck. And do not be scared. But at the same time, be careful so you do not cut the lace with the tweezers and you do not over pluck it and make like you look very bowed very bold so you just have to just keep going in going in minimal combing it out and you have to keep checking it constantly 
as you keep plucking so that you know that okay you don't overdo it and make the hairline like look really thin and there's really nothing there and this is just me just plucking the hair this was me at the end of the still the first day i had plucked and plucked i had removed like a whole lot of hair but i still wasn't feeling it but this is now me on the this i was still i had packed i had done the pattern here but i still wasn't feeling the hair it wasn't still giving that really like flat illusion for me it still wasn't doing for me but this is still very okay if this is your preference then go ahead and this is me the second day after i had gone back to pluck it again throughout the day then this is the result that was perfect for me i made a mistake here i over at the side you can see that gaping hole there that's what i'm saying always check it so you do not over pluck and make a mistake but you can see that hole but it wasn't so bad so i could work with it but this is how i like my frontal to be sorry my closure and my frontal to be very very thin hair at the front because it just gives that normal natural illusion this is me just showing guys my mistake i made but it's all good then for the lace i use this lace things i do not bleach just because i've not gotten that advanced yet and this is so much easier and this is me after just using my lace things and i've put some foundation on the lace as well it still is giving that natural look already and i'm absolutely loving it and the wig already looks perfect i styled it i called it and i straightened no i called it and styled it and made everything perfect and it looks really really nice so let's just go into installation hi, hi my darlings welcome back to the installation part of this video so without talking too much let's just get right into the video so this is our final result i don't really want to put my hands inside just because this is what our lace looks like so yeah more i plot and plot and plot see like like i plot for two days straight <laughs> anyways let me just get right into it i can't do the ball cap method just because um it's not a frontal it's not a full frontal this is a five by five so i'm just going to put this recap just like this on my head and let me sort out my edges then i'll be right back so i'm going in with this got to be just to lay down my edges this got to be is already crying for help it is what it is I'm just laying that down so that it dries down, it really dries down nicely. You can leave it to dry like naturally, but I won't. I'm just getting right into the mix right now. But this is what the wig is looking like. Um, I think it now looks nice as well initially. But the first thing I'll be doing is I'm going in with my hot, my hot comb. But let me wait for it to get like hot in it. And I'll be going in with that just to like smooth out the edges before I now install. This wig, right? I think I made a mistake with this side. This side not really bang like that. I think it's the first side I did. But it's not really giving what it's supposed to give. But this side is my favorite side. This one. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but I really did so well with this side. But this side, this was the first time on my first attempt, so it didn't really slap. But I don't know if it's the weak. It's just making it look strange. But anyways, I will just work with it like that. I do not have a choice. Wow, this hairstyle is reminding me of 20. 14 13 ish when we used to do installs like sewings, but we'll make one side very high. We used to do this high center pattern, high side pattern. That's how this thing is looking. <laughs> That's the vibe it's giving me actually. All those high then before they now became we now came back to the flat. It had to be flat. Yeah, that's what this side is giving me. But anyways, I'm done like flat ironing it. See the smoke coming out. So I'll just go right into spraying it out. my wigs i really don't like it being too forward 
like too front i don't know why but it's just like a preference i really don't like it being too broad so i'll still go in with this got to be and just spray right on top of it you know my edges are doing something at the side as I, I do my head for my makeup if i do my, my makeup first by the time i'm done uh, all my all my makeup would have since um, got to be would have smudged all my makeup out so that's what I do it first so I do my hair first for my makeup so that it doesn't smudge it out for the lace I did not for my lace I did not bleach it just because I'm not yet that advanced I showed you guys what I used so I just used that um, lace tint and I used my foundation as well just like make it look natural. I just want this to see for a bit. Let me just tie it down before I come back and cut. I really don't know if you guys can see this melt, but can you see how this thing is already looking skin like? Like it's so melted into my skin and I absolutely absolutely love it. I can't I'm so proud of myself. I can't believe I actually plucked this hair and like nah. I need, I need to practice on a full front on a full frontal rather. Because I did this five by five so that I could see if I could actually do it. But I mean I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. So let me just go ahead, cut the lace, do some baby hairs. I'm not really a fan of baby hairs, but I'll just do some baby hairs then. We'll just After cutting your lace, always make sure you go in with an extra layer of um, got to be just to give it a natural look and you don't see like a demarcation or whatever. I just hope like this thing is even looking nice on the camera because <laughs> I don't know, these lights are not really are kind of like blinding me, so I really cannot see. But then I'm done with the install, I'm just going to bring like little baby hairs, tie it down one more time, and yeah, I think I'll just go and start my makeup. And when I'm done, I'll come back and show you guys the finished results. So yeah. That brings me to the end of this video please tell me if this video was helpful to you tell me what you think rate me in the comment section how did i do over 10 is it a 10 over 10 a 2 over 10 or a 0 over 10 but anyways i think it looks really good at least for a first time a beginner i hope this tutorial was actually really helpful because we're all we're all learning here and if maybe i missed out something or something isn't clear you can just like drop a comment or message me or anyhow sha but just tell me what you guys think about this installation if you guys will follow it if you guys follow the tutorial how to prep and trust me <laughs> when you are plucking frontal oh my god you pluck and pluck and do not be scared to pluck i feel like i made a mistake at this part of my hair just because this was the first side i did so i obviously made a mistake this isn't perfect but this is actually perfect and yeah we're all learning i actually love this side but not only this side sha as, as a first timer as a beginner but just tell me what you guys think and yeah that means the end of this video i hope this video was helpful to somebody i hope somebody will follow this tutorial and yeah let's just keep being the bad this week i love you guys long time and see you in my next video rewind, rewind, rewind.